Enjoy the universe with Vrondos Molinos. Streaming from somewhere in the space-time continuum. Greetings everybody on planet and welcome to the prologue. My name is Vrondos Molonos and we are on board here the Entrepes uh, and we are streaming to planet Earth and maybe one day we'll have viewers from other planets in other galaxies uh, far far away uh, we'll need to get some more bandwidth for that and um, so let's get started we are just going to share our stream to a few more places around earth and one of those places is X we're gonna X our stream not to boost our tweet okay so there we've got it we've done it okay and then we are going to copy the link and paste it to a couple of more pages copy link Uh, here we go. And one of the places we've got to copy it to is my Facebook page. Yes. It is the uh, 21st century. And we are all into Facebook in the first uh, part of the 20th, 21st century. And uh, there's another post to International Space Reality Station. Let's put it there. Uh, what's on your mind? Well, I just want to post a link. Space is on my mind. And we are. Good evening, Commander. How are Hello, you doing? Hello, Solid. I'm very well solid, thank you very much. And how are you? Okay, we're gonna get started now. Uh, yes, we are getting started. So here we go for the opening titles of our stream, Eve and I, episode 499. Welcome everybody and uh, for those about to fly, we will salute you. And uh, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Well, hello everybody and uh, welcome to the stream. It's great to have you here. Ev uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, my name is Vrondos Valonos and we are going to get things started here. Yes, indeed. Um, I've got a bit of a later start tomorrow. I don't have to be up until, I'd say, uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. For some, that is still uh, the um, middle of the night. <laughs> okay, so uh, let us get connected to our to new week. 
Houston. We're going to ask us, please, will you connect us? Thank you. Connecting. There you go. She's connected us, and uh, let's see where we are. In fact, docked up. Here we go. All right. So here we is. And let's have a look at our planetary production. Uh, here we go. Or planetary industry. Right, all our planets are in production, so let's see how many uh, cryoprotectant um, cry solutions. Okay, all right, let's see what we got in here. All right, I've got 348. Right, and we're in Amara at the moment. Now, we've got test cultures. I will try to focus on the actual game with my silly comments, but let's see how that goes. Oh, I don't mind your silly comments. Absolutely, they are wanted. The, the sillier, the better. Um, bacterial test cultures. Required for chiroprotectant uh, solution. So if we click on that, so I want synthetic oil, fertilizer, and test cultures. Produce three chiroprotectant solutions. Synthetic oil and test cultures. So that's our test cultures. That's our synthetic oil. And in here, we should be having our fertilizer, which it is outgoing. Okay. All right, so uh, how many of these have we got? Uh, 348 and what have we got in? Oh, whoops. We want to go back. Here that's we our, go. That's our command center. Okay. Right, we want some bacteria in there. Proteins and electrolytes and bacteria. All right. So let's just have a look at our protein planet. This is our planet protein here. And if I right click here, you're supposed to be able to show other characters' networks. Are there other characters' networks on here? There's, I can't see any. I can't be the only one on here. Okay. Proteins, right, got plenty of proteins. Proteins good for you, yeah. Eat lots of meat. Electrolytes, yep, yeah, we've got a good amount of electrolytes. We've got a good amount of everything. Oxygen. Yeah, we're looking good. Our production is much more even. I was producing too many. Oh, look at what have we got here. Water, my gosh. 
Got all that water. Water. That's how we say water in uh, where I'm from. We say water. Water. Right, what we're going to do. Uh, so let's have a look here. Um, inventory industry. What do we actually want? Good evening, Vrondos. Hello, Alice. How are you doing? Let me just uh, get myself together in Discord. Do believe I'm in Discord chat, but I've turned my microphone and my earphones off. There you go, I'm set up there. Right, so what do we want in here? Right, we've got things to make fertilizer. So we want proteins. We just want to bring proteins along. Because we've in this of the other. Bacteria and proteins equal 40 bacteria and 40 proteins equals 5 fertilizers. Uh, and what have we got? Bacteria. So we just want to collect bacteria and proteins. So that's what we're going to do. Plus, while we're here, let's just have a look at the market.com. Uh, quick bar. All right, the price is going up. Uh, instead of going down to 150,000 and what have you, we've got some real good prices here. Uh, well, better prices than what they were. Let's just have a look at the price history. Uh, let's have a look at the graph. Okay, see, so here you can see the blue line there. It went down. And now it's gone up and then slightly down, but not as Bacteria down. and proteins. Yeah. Story of my life. Really, is it? There's good bacteria, that's good for your gut. And are there any proteins that are bad for you? I don't think so. Because pro suggests uh, positive and productiveness. So, uh, let's come out of that view. Second destination. Right, we've got two, four, six, eight, nine jumps. We've got to sort out our. All we want is proteins and bacteria. Uh, let's see what. I just got our Helios here. Okay, let's go. So I'm undocking. Now I am using my 10 inch tablet with a piece of software called Tumon. The software is installed on the PC and it's also installed on the tablet. But for some reason, every now and again, and it's been happening often just recently, uh, 
the mouse when when I go with my all my my mouse as you can see going across the screen when I go onto my tablet the mouse disappears And it's frustrating because then I can't do anything. And I think it's something to do with a different uh, um, what's called um, like 180 or 720p that I've got the uh, screen on because it never used to do that. So I was looking. For a 10 inch USB powered um, monitor but I don't think there is such a beast it might be USB powered Android but tablet Android tablet yeah but you have to uh, you have to then put it into a um, one of your um, You have to put it into the graphics card. But I do have two 15 inch USB monitors. I do have that. But when I connected them first up to the machine, when I put it there, um, Arduin, and I was just thinking, did I, have, did I overload the graphics card with my two USBs? Two, two uh, 15 inch USB monitors and also oh that's a cloak and uh, my three 21 inch screens I mean I probably did but uh, it's been great since and I hope getting your subwoofer there of the effect But what I'm finding is, as a more simpler, less energy, less consuming, less consumption, is just to have my uh, browser, which is on the 10 inch monitor, and my, which is on the 10 inch monitor, just have them on the, on, on the 21 inch monitor behind the game. And each time I want to look at something, I just click on my status bar, and and it's there, you know. And it's nice and big, rather on the ten-inch monitor where I have to lean over and look. So no, no biggie. But it's it's just great having five screens, you know. It just evens things up, but not necessary. As you've probably seen the pictures of my uh, setup, to have things in symmetry. So I actually do have a 10-inch monitor that's in 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 the HDMI socket of the, and the three three screens are in the um, gaming ports of the graphics card. And on the last subwoofer as always. Android Good. problems is fixable. Yeah. Never go full Apple. Alright, ah, okay. I'm sure it's got something to do with the um, screen settings that I have like when you go to uh, graphic settings and it shows you a little graphic of all your monitors I'm sure it's something to do with that because it never used to do it it never used to do it it would sometimes disconnect but it would never but the um, the cursor would never disappear Honest, it it wouldn't. 
Okay, I'm in low sec, so I should concentrate. Uh, local. I'm only I'm the only person in this system at the moment, but I'm now leaving it. All right, there's four people in here with me. Cloaked. Let's do a scan. But yeah, it's all good. It's all looking right. I can't hear any music. What's happened to the music? Look up. And there's three of us in the system Foxy Flick and Pit Rat. This is Pit Rat, he's a member of the uh, Tri Tachyon Republic. What a great name! Docking permission requested, docking request accepted. 25th of September, he joined the Tri Tachyon Tablet Republic. running wireless. That's right, yeah, yeah. And also, um, I don't keep the um, charger in all the time. I let it run down. Like, all, all at the start of the stream, it's always 100%. But it's just nice to have that screen there to match the opposite because on one on my right hand screen above it I've got my 10 inch monitor which is an actual monitor and then on my left hand screen I've got the 10 inch tablet that turns that can turn in into a monitor with two mon it's free I think solid two mon it's called and then um yes Right, so yeah, let's get on with it. Alright, so let's get into my Trotter's Trekker. Make active, yeah. And we just want the uh, bacteria and proteins. Alright. Alright. Somebody else is coming. And somebody else has just gone. The somebody else that came in is the somebody else that went. Okay, uh, and Pit Rat is here docked in with the station with me. And this one is the, he's a member of the Juan Son Entertainment. But let's have a look at their alliances. Captain Ahab's Whaling Tours. <laughs> the Gluten Free Cartel. I like that. <laughs> the Free Gluten. <laughs> the Free Gluten People's Front. <laughs> the Gluten Free People's Front, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that would be a great corporation, wouldn't it? The gluten-free people's front. No, the free gluten people's front. Uh, so let us go to... Uh, let us go to... Hold on. I'm just moving things over a bit. Excellent. Excellent. You see, and Eve great, because you can play it on one screen, but then I can drag it across so it takes up the whole of three screens. And um, what you're seeing is the middle screen. Uh... So, 
bacteria, okay, and protein. Let's do it, let's undock. following me out here. I've got nobody on scan. And this my control. That is the that is actually completely clear. I don't have to wait for the graphic to uh, be complete. All right. So let uh, bacteria and we're 10, 10 kilometers. Drive active. And it's good to see everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. It means a lot that you're here and watching and stuff. Yeah. Flying the cosmic vacuum cleaner seems right for bacteria adventures. Yes, I love it. The cosmic vacuum cleaner. <laughs> There's a ship in uh, that I that I um, fly. It is uh, not the Brutix. It's the uh, but it's known as the Potato because it's in the shape of a potato. All right. So let's approach. Let's open up our cargo. Dominic. The Dominics, yes, that's the one. All right. So I'm getting Dyson vibes with that ship. Dyson vibes, yeah. Nah, this is more Electrolux, 1970s Electrolux, solid. Do you think? There we go. Now these structures were designed 20 years ago but does vape okay so I'm down to 5,000 meters all right let's just slow the ship down under three under four thousand meters let's slow the ship down even more and again a bit more okay so we're going to stop the ship in a minute but before we transfer the stuff over we're going to align to our escape in case there are ships very close to us who are also cloaked. Look, they zap. So let's locations, safe spot, align to. Okay, let's make sure we're aligned. And we're still within range for a transfer. All right. There's four of us in this system now. Now, when I was here the other day, I had four Triglavian battleships in this system, uh, flown by people who live in this system, who are who are very active in this area in this constellation so I was quite nervous but they seem not to be perturbed by me I don't know let's do a scan okay there's I've got nothing on scan so what I do is I untransfer warp out Drive 
dum dum ti dum ti dum ti dum excellent and let's do a scan and when I scan the scan range is at a 360 degree angle and it's 14 astronomical units and I think one astronomical unit is 250 or 270,000 kilometers all right so before we go to the next system we can check out on the website or even on on the map um, how many deaths there have been there today or how many ships destroyed so now on my tablet oh and my mouse keeps on getting stuck yeah my mouse is oh gosh uh, let's go to the kill boards and we're gonna let's let's show you browser oh no that keeps on doing it I've got to go out right that's not right camera one should not be on there let's delete that all right that's what you should be seeing and I do that every stream now and OBS is not saving it so we go into mod M O D on that, and we see how many deaths there have been there today. January the seventh, none in there today. Let's go to uh, Dotlan and do the same. Uh, mod. You see, I'm at my safe spot now, and that is a random place that I've picked out in the middle of the system somewhere. Uh, let's just do a scan. All right, I've got a buzzard on scan, which is a frigate. I'll show you the ship that it is. Oh. It's Covert Ops, so that's a cloaky. All right, let's just warp out of here. Stargates, what am I doing? What am I messing around at? Jump, 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 jump. Okay, uh, sorry about that. This is the uh, ship that I've just scanned I don't know it doesn't on the scan it doesn't tell you how far away it is or where it is but I'm now coming through here and there's three people in this system including me Locations, safe spot, walk within. Let's go to 100 this time. Ooh! I haven't cloaked. What an idiot. Concentrate. It is 22.53 here. I've been up since 7 o'clock. Didn't kick today. All right, locations, proteins, warp within 20. Warp drive active. Let's do a All right, if you hear a sort of like a klaxon sound, that means I've scanned. All right, there we go. Let's approach. It 
But I can perhaps have a look how much I've because I've got a, I've got an excess amount of water. And I can have a look at the market.com and um, see how much water is being sold for. And maybe make some profit on that. Now I lowered the price of my data chips the other day that I used to produce. But I stopped producing them because the price was going down so much. And uh, I went on to cryoprotectant solutions. Uh, which people are now not selling at such a low price like 150,000. They're, they're 155,000 at the moment. And... Uh, Sorry, what was, that? what was the train of thought? I forget now. So I need three ingredients. Three uh, ingredients to make uh, cryoprotectant solutions. Two of them I've got plenty of. One of them is fertilizer, so let's concentrate on just doing the fertilizer. I might just slow the ship down a bit. Let's do a scan. Okay, I've got to slow the ship down quite a bit more now. And those, that's just a little NPC there. It's not even an NPC, it's a... Uh, that's not a real player. Real players are white on the screen. Little white things. Okay, let's slow, let's stop the ship now. 1,272.65 Alright Let's get a little bit closer stop. So I'm going to come and see the ship there a bit more. I'm going to say spot align to. And just as the ship turns, we stop. Because that ship turning is vital, vital seconds of not being blown up. One's got a whole warp disruptor on there, on ya. And you've got an anti-warp, uh, you've got something that can stop that. Turning around is vital seconds. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, Decloak, transfer. drive is active and see I'm not turning around I'm just going for it okay all right there's only one person in this system nobody blows up water traders no without water there is no life <laughs> okay. Let's go through the gate. So again, when I go into my next system, instead of going directly to my uh, facility, 
where I need to drop these off, we go to the safe spot first. And that way, people cannot easily track your movements down. Maybe I, sh I should have two or three safe spots. Water is necessary to make beer and all whiskey start life as beer. That's true. So what I might do is once I've got everything set up I might uh, main character this is my alternative character here I might get into my and say hello to my corporation friends So I've set my speed. I'm not going to go full speed ahead here. Let's open up our cargo. Let's open up the customs office. There we go. And let's go to the correct uh, launch pad. All right. So this is the launch pad, which is serving as a uh, So this particular launch pad is also serving as a, uh, um, a warehouse where the stuff is kept. And um, it, instead of having um, uh, a, a, an actual uh, stock uh, warehouse or whatever, um, What's the point? Just use use the launch pad as one. And this stuff is fed to the factories, which make our three components needed to make the cryoprotectant solution. Okay, there we go. And we're stopping. No one on scan. Let's title CEO. All right, he's a member of the Juan Son Entertainment. Uh, gluten free cartel. I like that. All right. So, okay, let's locations align. Right, let's stop. Right, we're now 2,450. 759, 60, 61, round, um, taking about 20 kilometers more than what I was. Okay, so decloak, transfer, cloak, warp out. drive 
All right. Active. So that factory is now well going. We don't need to reset the factory like we do with the other other places. Oh gosh. I do have to send my workmate the text I just remembered. All right. Uh, where are we? Up oh, with there. Okay. Alright, so I've got a message. My phone has almost died, but we've got a message on Facebook. Let's have a look at it. I'm going to bring it down to my 70, 21 inch monitor to. Hold on. What's this? So far, so good. Right. That station ought to keep you safe when trading. Yes, it does. So we're docked up. Now let's have a, let's check our planets out. Um, industry. So we're viewing how much into the three-day program we have we are running. So we're coming up to the end of the three-day program. Yeah. We've got one more day to do, which is tomorrow.
can see here it's going this line here program running uh, view just looking at all, all our planets time yeah. three day program at Davos yeah all right we're going to leave that running that'll that'll be finished tomorrow do you reckon that's about three days out i reckon that's uh let's have a look at that again look at this here this timeline across here two days and two hours so yeah we've got another uh We've got another um, 22 hours to go on that. So my job for tomorrow is to stop uh, the production and reset everything on one, World Economic two, Forum. three, four, five planets. Yes, solid, absolutely. I'm having a chat with my mate on Facebook as well. Uh, we are organising with your media connections uh nah oh, sorry Jim <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, me and my friends, uh, we know some people who have made a film. Uh, it's quite a serious film about knife crime. And it wants to be shown because there's a program that I know, which is a global, um, which is a global initiative, and it's available on all continents, and it's quite successful in reducing crime. Heads have been turned um, about its success rate, and in certain parts, including America prisons have been closed because uh, it's got a really high success rate and we want to show this film in Bedford uh, where I live uh, in a battle against knife crime which is an epidemic in the UK uh. okay all right, so what am I going to do now? Okay, uh, nope, not that. I want this debunked. Let's just have a look at something here. Exploration. Just... 
all right. We're going to get into our Helios. Is the time 23:14? Okay, let's do some scanning. I think that's the best thing to do. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Simon Webb. Simon Webb. here she's four years old Why is it? Save current formation. No. Talks about UK affairs and knife crimes among other things. Alright, Simon Webb. Okay. Thanks for that, Solid. it right that here in this box at the bottom left these are grayed out That's the problem I was having.
What's happened here? Why is it? No probes launched. Fair enough. Launch pinpoint formation. Spread formation. See, it's not that. Save current formation. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna e that's better. see what we've got here. Have I got any dropped frames? Yeah, I've got 0.3 dropped frames. 320 of them. It's 0.3%. some games out there I know who composed the music but I do not know after all these years who composes who or who who it was that composed the Eve Online music I don't know I suppose you can Google it at some point. Okay. All right. So we're going to scan at 16 AU. And I do like data sites or um, relic sites. Alright, we've got this one at 10%. Let's have a look. Let's zoom out. And get get to it. Oh gosh. And as you sit here, playing Eve, some strange thoughts come into your head. Uh, oh, I better not say anything. It's a bit morbid. <laughs> okay, let's get in a bit closer there. You can see... scroll closer there we go alright that's getting a bit closer even 
more. Alright, let's go that way. You can see how far off we are. Alright, now let's scan at 8 AU. And let's analyse this cosmic signature in space. Eighteen point nine, and I double click, and it centers it into this square. And let's just do a scan. And I think there's lots of other things in this system such as uh, mining sites which can be very lucrative uh, and I think people go after those more than they would somebody like me okay Now, let's get in a bit closer. You can see how far out we really are. Oh dear. Okay, let's scan at 4 AU. We're 18.9% scanned. I think we'll know what it is next. I hope we do anyway. Alright, it's a wormhole. God damn it nothing else scanned at the moment okay let's go to this top one I need to uh, you see in wormholes there are things in wormholes that you can retrieve like there might be an asteroid belt or something or um, a combat site or something or something that you can do in there like you do anywhere else in space but because it's in a wormhole it's far more lucrative So, I'm doing this, and I'm thinking no one's bothering me, and is that because I'm actually, I'll go, let's come out to 16 AU, is that because uh, they know that I'm not going to find anything, and they are actually at... One point two point nine per cent. Let's have a look at this beauty. And that sort of like sound that it makes when I drag it along. 
it reminds me of War of the, the, the original War of the Worlds. When the uh, goes in, uh, when the people are down in that cellar, and its eye is uh, its eye is looking round. But you're right, solid. It does look like a vacuum cleaner, a 1960s vacuum cleaner. Let's go to AAU, maybe, analyze. <laughs> and apparently, um, guys, one of my channels, all right, we've gone down to zero, okay. Let's do 32. One of my channels, apparently had over 2,200 visits last month. That's pretty cool. All right, 4.2. Vacuum cleaner goes hand in hand with the cosmic hair dryer. It does, Solid, it does. You are so right. Yes, indeed. You know, like the Cure, the famous Cure album of 1979, the vacuum cleaner, the lampshade, the fridge. That is Eve Online. <laughs> okay, let's scroll out a bit. We're a bit silly, aren't we? These are my probes. Alright, let's do a scan. I've got all I've got on scan is one scanner probe. Okay. All right. I must admit my total admiration for Robert Smith and the Cure. Yeah, uh, when I was about 16, 17, we saw them, that was 1979, saw them at the Lyceum Ballroom in London. If you ever see the police video, uh, Message in a Bottle, that is the Lyceum Ballroom in London, and ev that would have been on a Sunday night, and um, we used to go there uh, quite regularly, and that's where I saw the cure that uh, in 1979. And um, the message in the bottle video uh, shows outside and all the punks queuing up to get in, and the buses going by, and the traffic, and and other people, and what have you passers by and that that was my youth spent there do 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 okay I don't want to really go to any of these uh, other sites in, in this system. Right, let me show you. Um, filtered. Right, you've got these green sites here. This is their mining. It's a 
that site there. You've got some combat sites and or two or sites. Now maybe this is the reason why people are in this system to do all those. Uh, and people are busy doing that and maybe people go to um, kill other people who are doing those uh, who are in those places. Who knows, but I don't want to be a person then who comes into this system and then goes and kills people at those who are doing those uh, combat sites or mining sites. Because I'm me, um, I'm just one person on my own and they are a large corporation, so if I'm making life difficult for them for a quick buck you know they could make life difficult for me a lot more each time i log on okay let's go to 16a uh, aau anyway um let's scan these places down Alright, that's 18.5. Double click on it and it centers it. as we can get there now we pretty much got that in the center we have okay let's go to 4AU data site please or a, or a uh, relic site that's what we want what we really really want oh it's a combat site 53% so once I've done this site, once it's fully scanned and I can walk to it, what I'd normally have to do, what you'd have to do is go and get your combat ship and uh, do the warp to the site and do the combat. doing this one at the moment watching young people ditching the current commercial crap music for our old stuff is fantastic oh yeah uh, there's I was talking to somebody last night she's 27 years old and I'm talking to her about the ruts and the cure of 79 and madness and the specials you know and they're all into that you know, they're listening to the music of my youth, you know. And when I was a teenager, you know, I mean, uh, sort of like 17, late 70s, early 80s, I was listening to sort of like, you know, a Led Zeppelin from 10 years before, you know, and Cream and... Um, You know, so older people would have seen me and said, look at that old boy, he's he's listening to our old stuff. Do 
do do do do do do do do do do do do do Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, look how far we are away from it, really. Do Okay, let's get in a little bit closer. You know, there's this one band that I was into, Crass, and I did see them back in the day. And um, Steve Ignorant, who was one of the singers, uh, he's coming to play in my hometown. And my hometown actually has one of the top small venues in the country. It's a small venue, it's got three stages, prices are kept low, uh, and Coldplay have played there on their way up. True, but back then it all was more different than now. It is, Everything yeah. is mostly made by the same damn producers and the same boring drum pattern because it sells. Yeah. And the um, the mixing and the mastering is all the same as well. It's like you've got producers like Tony Visconti. He had one sound for David Bowie. He had another sound for, for Mark Boat, for T-Rex. And... Um, Bands sounded different. They had their own identity, uh, not just in their music and their style of music, but actually in the production as well. Let's just do a scan. Okay, let's go to 4AU. Twenty mm percent. -mm. All right. Double clicky. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go to two AU Cosmics. Um, data site or relic site please an easy one not a hard one I've, da I've, I've scanned down to it's another combat site okay let's go back to 16 AU let's 
let's go across here. Yeah, I've scanned down two data sites, but they have been highly dangerous ones. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's double click on it again. There's a guy here called Leftius Maximus. Let's do a scan. Let's have a look at him. This is Leftius Maximus, member, member of the Ultra Sibyl. <laughs> They're in a line. Oh, right, they're just passing through. They've gone. Okay. We're at 16 AU. Let's scroll out. We need to scroll right out. There we go. get up we get up we get all right oops all right let's go to AAU So we scan down a wormhole and two combat sites. And that's a combat site as well. Okay. And that's the end of the show, folks. Uh, We're off. And my my tablet. Let's see if I've, my my mouse is still on it. Yeah, it is. My tablet has not disconnected itself like it usually been doing recently. When you walk away from the gate, you have it. You 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 are decloaked automatically. Uh, so you have to cloak up. But if I now go to uh, here, my safe spot in the middle of nowhere, I'm not cloaked. I, I do not decloak because I haven't come into contact with any structures within 2,000 meters less than 2,000 meters so now I can go to the station and dock and I don't have to activate my cloaking device but anyway yeah things are um, difficult data sites and what have you at the moment 
and I took a photo of this last night and it looks something like this. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. And I put it up onto my uh, Instagram, my X, and uh, fa around Facebook. Anyway, okay, everybody. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'm docked up. I want to find myself a nice uh, bar, maybe with some live music in it. And uh, enjoy what the station has got to offer me. I'm somewhere in there, uh, in that system of seven over seven thousand systems, uh, and um, it's just one instance of one new Eden, one new Eden. Uh, with many deaths and many um catch you next time yeah. social media cowboy Vrondos. okay social media cowboy yeah with a hoover and a hairdryer <laughs> do you like <laughs> you can see uh, my spaceship is very clean all the carpets are very clean and uh, my hair is uh, very stylish with my hairdryer that I fly in and my hoover that I fly in. Nice one, solid. You've <laughs> that's made me chuckle. And anyway, yes. Uh, uh, take care, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to close a few things down now. All right, and I'm going to close down. Uh, Discord. I'm quitting Discord. There we go. And let's dis let's close down our browser. And this is so. When I play the closing titles, which takes up quite a lot of uh, memory, I'll see if I can do a, a a less of a heavy MP4. Well, what's happened to me here? Oh, there it is. Okay. No, that's it there. Something my ear keeps, my earpiece keeps on disappearing off the screen. <laughs> okay. And I'm closing down the chat, folks. There we go. So, everybody, uh, yes, indeed. Um, here we go. Um... Thanks very much for watching. It's been fun. Hopefully see you tomorrow. But uh, bye for now. Uh, let's stay in space. And always remember um, that for those about to fly, we salute you. Good night. Thank you.